everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Man of Madon. Uh, so I actually filmed the first episode <laughs> months ago. Um, but luckily we had only really done the prologue and really kind of an introduction to the characters. So it should be okay to not completely start over. Uh, so we're going to pick up from where we left off in the first episode, which was basically an introduction to all the characters, and we just got into the water. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret! We can get in through there. Oh, I forgot about QTEs. Whoa! Careful! Could be dangerous. Familiarize myself with the buttons. <laughs> uh, ladies first? Okay. So I just kind of lucked out on that one. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Okay, so I changed from what I remember the thing that would have me continuously press a button. In order to do an event, I'm left-handed, and it is a problem. So... We'll do that. I don't think I turn. I didn't turn off the QTE combat timer. Maybe I should. Because <laughs> I'm not very quick. And I don't think I changed other stuff. So I do have QTEs. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Okay. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. I don't know what to do. Julia, with it. come on. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I don't want the combat timer, I think. Can I change that now? Ooh! Whoa, whoa. I think I wet my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. 
He's holding something. Oh, we already did that. So can we go further, or are we coming back the way we came? He's not coming with me, so this is probably not the way we're supposed to be going. We already did look at that, right? No, we didn't. Ooh, a bullet. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Okay, anywhere else. Now clearly we're supposed to go forward, but let's just make sure we didn't miss anything, because I thought I did. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Uh... Yeah, let's not do it. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. We probably needed to, but we won't. And I'm sure it was a an event that would have gotten her killed immediately. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I, uh, what are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Um worried? It's on your brain, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Um What's going on? Hey, seriously. What's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! Uh... Yeah, let's do it. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. We don't want our heads to explode. Uh... Let's go. Fuck it, I'm going. Uh-oh. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Oh, what was that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? 
Why? The dive line, actually. Oh, How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Well, it sounds like that would have happened anyway. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Uh, something's up. Alex. You're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. Oh, bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? What's next? Happy future. I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, where is this coming from? Well, okay. Where is this coming from? I don't know. Just feeling good. You know where everybody is. I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Mm, let's apologize for him. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out.
Okay. I can do this, so I am going to... Um... Maybe disable the timers. We'll see how that goes. I don't mind the single action button. I just don't like the timers because I'm slow. <laughs> and maybe we'll have a better chance. Maybe if it's too easy, then I'll turn them back on. But for right now, I'm going to disable them. Yes. Okay. Does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Okay, so these are all the Sign pictures. Me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you to take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Eh, <sighs> sure. We'll, we'll, like, not die. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Mm, fine. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? 
Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Uh, shush. We'll do this one. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splay down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. Yeah, so gross. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, ah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Uh, we'll be nice. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think he told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Why is she looking like that? Hmm. 
Let's ungag her too. Maybe she can tell us why they're after us. It's probably her fault. These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're all out of danger. Oh, let's untie. Guys. Gotta get untied. Like now. <laughs> Shit. No, it's not good. Come on. <laughs> ah, fuck up. Ah, I'll be back for you later. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. What do you want? What do you fuckers want? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Uh, let's not Please. agitate him. Just stop, man. Finish with him later. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Where's our brother? I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. 
Did you see my brother? No, I hope he's okay. No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. I'll be honest, this is not where I thought this would go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. We'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. I guess we should. I didn't think he was gonna do this. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Okay, let's escape. with this old junker. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! 
Come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? die on a ghost ship. Connie can take care of himself. All right! Shut the fuck up! Uh, we were only talking. There's no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain, and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Uh, it isn't true. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. <laughs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Uh, ask for. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. better in the QTEs. They come on so suddenly. Wait! Oh. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Let's help. Now. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Uh, uh, he might drown. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out! Move! They don't seem concerned there's another person there.
this is our ghost ship. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time... But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? Probably. I dare say we'll find out, hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, sure, although they've never helped me before. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress... I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Junior, tu retires la tête à l'image. worse because we didn't even get a choice about going in the ghost ship. I guess we're controlling Fliss. I guess this is where we're going to go ahead and end the episode today. I won't be able to do it every single day till it's done. I'll try to post like one or two a week. These games aren't terribly long anyway, uh, but I did want to start this and I did want to start getting it out. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!